What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, we are starting on the Ford 428 FE engine. And the goal is to get this thing prepped, ready for assembly. I've got some very nice parts that I'll show you guys. And we're also going to do all the oil modifications that we all hear about. So let's get this thing started and let's get it prepped. Let's do it. All right, so what are all these oil modifications that everybody always talks about on the Ford FE? Let me start out just by showing you guys the oil plugs. Um, I bought a oil galley plug kit from Precision Oil Pumps and a shout out to Doug, the owner. He's a really cool guy. Every time I call him for questions, he always had very good answers and he's got some very very good stuff i bought an oil pump from him and i'll show you guys that in a minute but there are 10 quarter inch pipe plugs two one eighth pipe plugs for the solid lifter conversion and they're also included are the restrictors for the heads i'm going with the edelbrock aluminum heads and that's a 0 0.090 um, restrictor for that he also comes with instructions on here, but let me show you guys the locations. So there's three right here at the back of the engine, one, two, three. There is another one right here on the top, that's four. On the front of the engine, there is one right here that is five. And one that everybody forgets is this one right here. This one is behind the distributor. Let me get a light for you guys so I can show you. But there you go. That's the one that everybody always forgets about. You can kind of see it in the lifter hole as well. You see that? So a lot of guys that don't work on the FE engines, they forget about that one. And let's go to the back. Right here, there are one, two, three, four plugs on the back. So that's a total of 10 plugs. And uh, let me show you guys what I got from precision oil pumps and then we'll get to the actual oil modifications this is the actual oil galley plug kit and you could probably find these at your local hardware store but i had so many problems to try to even locate the tap for it the quarter inch npt tap so i think i just might as well just order all this stuff that way we all have it and you're not wasting time trying to find all this stuff uh, we've got the head restrictors for the Edelbrock heads. Uh, when you order the kits, you can specify which heads you have so that they would include the restrictors for them. Solid lifter 1 8 if you were to do that. Also order the freeze plug kit. Um, do not order the 1 inch and 3 quarters. That is the wrong size. Check out the part number here. I believe these are the 1 inch 49 fourths. It's a pretty odd size, but these are the correct ones for the Ford FE. And he had a pretty good price, so I picked these up as well. This is the creme de la creme. This is the big purchase. What he is known for are the oil pumps. Let's check this thing out. I have never been so excited over an oil pump before, but let's check this thing out. And I'll put up a picture of all the specs that he does to these oil pumps. But this thing is just a work of art, you guys. Check this out. Man, oh man. <laughs> that is just crazy. Off the bat, these are safety wired together so that it will not come apart. And check out that coating. That's just, man. <laughs> it's a, I know it's an oil pump, but <laughs> this is just super, super awesome piece. And these are taken completely apart. These are clearance checked. And I'll put up a picture. I don't know the full specs. I don't know them offhand, but I'll put up a picture. Um, but these are what they call blueprinted. And this is with the standard volume. Um, I decided to go against the high volume pump. I just think that for my purpose, the standard will be a lot better and you know with what i'm going to be driving it with but this is just an amazing oil pump um you just don't want to you know take your chances with one from the factory sometimes 
there can be some debris left over and it can pretty much ruin your whole engine so pretty good insurance and a pretty good oil pump um, I know this thing is ready to go and I know this is the best oil pump I can get and that is worth the ease of mind check that out but uh, let's get to the oil modifications and let's get it done awesome all right oil mod number one is where the filter attaches to the filter bracket and what some people do is they make a bevel right here i did a video on this and also enlarge this hole right here just a tad and that will improve the oil flow to your oil filter check that out oil mod number two and this is one that's going to make a pretty good impact on your oil pressure and that is opening up this oil passage that goes to your oil pump so as you can see on my block you can sort of see the outline already and this is where the gasket goes check that out so we're just gonna match that opening to the gasket we're gonna blend it out to match the oil pump and that will give you a lot more flow as noted in Barry Robotnik's FE book. We're just gonna get a die grinder and match the opening to the outlet from your oil pump, which will ensure the best flow rate. Oil mod number three, and this is one that's a bit debatable and it has to do with the upper mains right here and with the bearing not matching up with the hole there. As you can see on the imprint of the old bearings, this is what happens to a lot of Ford FE engines and a lot of people who are building these for the first time, they are sort of uh, <laughs> dumbfounded why that's the case, why it doesn't match up. And I have a perfect example right here. This is an old bearing that I have. This is exactly what I'm talking about where it doesn't match up with the hole. On the book, it says to get a die grinder and open this up just a tad so it will match up the hole a little better. But if you guys follow the Ford FE Fanatics Facebook group, they posted a original Ford, like a service bulletin where it addresses this misalignment of the hole. And I'll put up a picture up for you guys. But basically, if you put certain size drill bits in these mains with the bearings and they fit in these areas then you have no problems with the oiling you are good to go oil mod number four and this has to do with the heads i have an old 390 head lying around and as you can see this is where the rockers bolt up to and and this hole right here this is where the oil seeps up through to the head and this is what a lot of people get mixed up on are these bolts there is a different size bolt for this hole as you can see this one's the regular one and this one the shank is a little slimmer on the bolt to allow the oil to pass through as you can see right there so a lot of people do is they restrict the oil to the heads and they put a like a holly carburetor jet right in there which will restrict the oil and the idea is that you want all the oil to remain on the mains you don't want it to pull up on the heads and under hard acceleration you can starve the main bearings so that's what we want to avoid so those are the main oil modifications that are done to these engines I've got my carbide burr right here. I'm gonna open up this passage to match the oil pump. And I'm also going to open up the upper mains here. I'm just gonna give them a small bevel. Uh, you know, don't, don't go overboard with this stuff. Nothing too crazy, just a tad uh, bevel there so we can get more oil flow in there. You know, less is more as they say. And we're gonna tap the holes for the oil plugs, get them sealed up, and that should be it clean this whole block up and we'll be ready to go let's do it
right guys so we've got the oil galley tapped check that out it looks really really nice but a couple of tips for you guys when you're buying your quarter inch NPT tap you want to make sure you get a good quality one because it will wear out on you and the last thing that you want is for this thing to break off inside your block that would be a huge disaster but this is a NPT tap, which stands for National Pipe Thread. And that means that this is tapered. The front of the tap is narrow and it starts to get wider and wider and wider. Uh, once you start tapping this, you want to keep going until you're able to screw in the actual plug. And you kind of get worried because you don't know how much more you keep threading this into. This is a 2.5 inch tap, but as you saw in the earlier clip, the tap does go all the way to the bottom. It comes out through here, but that's okay. As long as you don't hit the bottom of the floor here, you are good to go. So this is as many threads as I could get it without hitting the bottom, which I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna put some Teflon paste on there once I get this whole block cleaned up, but the best tip I will give you guys is <laughs> if you get your your block machined, have the machinist do the tap, tap all the plugs there, the, the galleys, because I've been doing this for a couple hours and I still have nine to go. So this is very, very time consuming. And if you value your time, I would pay the 60 bucks, $100, whatever it is for your machinist to tap these holes. <laughs> I think that's the best advice for this video, but um, that's it. If you guys like the channel, you guys like the content, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And that's it. Boom.